Yeah. Guys, yeah. I got something to say. Yesterday, I got my draft letter. What you got what? My draft letter. Seriously. Johnny, how are you going to tell your mom? Oh, why not? Boys, dinner! Yeah. Hungry. Hungry, yeah. I'm eating all day. What's for dinner? Oh, boys, I got meatballs. Hi. Frank, you've grown so much. Yeah, this kid doesn't stop growing. Thanks, man. Well, I got something to tell you. The other day, Frank, you got his draft letter. Everyone else is leaving for the war. It just won't be the same in good old Bristol. So tomorrow, I think I'm going to list. What? Mom, ever since Dad died, you've taught me to be independent, to take responsibility for myself. At the same time that you gave me the best, most loving home I could could have, you always told me that I had to prepare myself for the day when I would be on my own. You said there wouldn't be many people I could depend on to help me, and I'd have to prepare to face tough things alone. You said that time would come when I'd be a man and life's decision would be mine. I love you more than anything, Mom, but it's time. War demonstrators protest U.S. involvement in the Vietnam War in mass marches, rallies, and demonstrations. Central Park is the starting point for the parade to the U.N. building. The estimated 125,000 Manhattan marches include students, housewives, beatnik poets, doctors, businessmen, teachers, priests, and others. Makeup and costumes were bizarre. Before the parade, mass draft card burning was urged. Demonstrators claimed 200 cards were burned, but no accurate count could be determined. Reporters and onlookers were jostled away on purpose. Do man, we should burn our damn draft cards. That's illegal. You can get arrested. Who cares? I'd rather be in prison than die in Vietnam. The protesters are right. How could you say that with Jimmy and Nick there? That's exactly the point. They shouldn't be there. No one should be there. If I had the guts, I would take off to Canada like some other people are doing. I can't believe you're saying that. It's our country. We owe it something. If you get caught, it's your duty to go to war, just like our fathers and their fathers before them did. Have you been following this thing, man? 8,000 guys have died already. Let that sink in. Their stories are in the paper every day. Customers sadly grab a quart of milk and bitch about the weather, maybe tell my father a joke, and then they leave. Where's the outrage? I saw a show on TV the other night that said three quarters of the guys in Vietnam are from working class families. It's people like this who are getting killed, not the rich guys. And don't forget, while Billy and Ralph are right now, I mean, I love those guys, but they got college deferments from their draft because the law's designed to help the rich kids. I can't afford full-time college, and neither can the two of you. Look, I'm not gonna argue with the two of you because I'll save it for someone who actually can buy that crap. I gotta go, I'll see you guys later. Frankie, what are you still doing here? I thought training hours were over. I don't think I can face your mother tonight at dinner. What are you talking about? The two of you have talked plenty of times since I gave you that news. She's coming around, but she certainly doesn't blame you. Read it. It's a letter from the Department of the Army. I don't understand. It says you got rejected because your blood sugar's too high? I got rejected, Johnny, because I got diabetes. Franchelli, you must be Italian, right? And Catholic, too. Full breed, why? Most of the peasants are Buddhists. Some say this war is about religion, culture, and communism. The Gooks fought to get rid of the French, and now they're fighting to get rid of us. Others say the Vietnam War is about getting Westerners out of the country. That's what the Viet Cong are fighting for. Damn, yeah, Nate, you can really talk someone's ear off. <coughs> Franchelli, right? Yeah, and you are? I'm Sam. Anyway, Nate, why don't you tell Johnny here how you ended up in Nam? I'm here because of old Sue Allen. It wasn't fair. It was only our first date, and she wound up getting pregnant. Anyway, Sue got real mad at me at, and threatened to kill me. So I did the only reasonable thing I could do, enlist and come to Nam. How about you, Sam? How'd you wind up here? Me? 
I got a personal invitation from Lyndon Baines Johnson. It was real nice. Came with a photo of the president and his family. Uh, there was LBJ, it was Lady Bird, Lucy Baines, Linda Bird, a couple of pet beagles. I was hoping they'd be greeting me at the airport. It's not. What about you, friends? How did you get here? Not important. The only thing that's important is that I'm here now. Lieutenant Timmer, why do I always have to crawl in these rat tunnels? Okay, Jimmy, remember your training. You can do this. Just be quiet and careful. Uh, what if I just go back and tell Lieutenant Timmer that I found nothing in the tunnel? I can't live like this. Why me? Why? Why do I get to survive when all my friends die? Why me? I can't live like this. Why me? Why do I get to live when my friends get to die? I need to talk to somebody about this. Miss French Ellie? Something to tell you. Oh, of course! Well, Vietnam. After high school, the boys move their separate ways. Frankie moves to New York City, where he meets his wife Diane and gets a job at the New York Times. Angelo becomes proud new owner of Angelo's Pizzeria right in Bristol. After the night on the 4th of July, Jimmy gets psychiatric help and is doing much better with his PTSD. He now helps other soldiers with their conditions in Charlotte, North Carolina. Although it has been 20 years since John's death, Frankie, Angelo, and Jimmy all come back to visit Anna and eat dinner with the way things were. Johnny, I got diabetes. <laughs> I got diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Ah, sh Ma! Stop talking to the dog! I can't wait yeah. to murder you. <laughs> Sleep. Can we? Sit. Frankie got a trap player. <laughs> <laughs>